Hello to all the greats, welcome and welcome back to Boss Up Diaries. Y'all already know, and for those who don't, my name is Kayla. Um, Y'all, we're six months locked, okay? Six months locked. Um, We got some color going on. We have lots and lots and lots and lots of frizz. Um, Yes. So I'm about to do my makeup and I thought maybe, maybe y'all might want to see, I don't know. So what I like to do before my makeup, and this is not really a makeup tutorial. Um, I know the lighting is probably not the best that it could be, but, but yeah, um, yeah, I'm going to talk to y'all, do my makeup. I like to do my baby hairs first before I do my, um, my foundation and i just use got to be the black one with a toothbrush and yeah so i like to do this before i do my makeup so it doesn't like melt and dissolve and look nasty and crusty and with my foundation you know like when they start to mix and start looking and start doing weird stuff so i don't know how i'm wearing my hair but baby hairs will be fleeky my eyebrows i like to wipe them get all the oil off so they don't smudge or do anything weird so i just like to wipe them off and then guys i like to keep my makeup as quick quick as cute short sweet and simple as possible so i'm going in with this morphe what color is this micro brow pencil micro crayon in cold brew so it's the second to last darkest color um yeah so i'm just about to you know do the brows real quick this is how we looking so brows are done i'm about to go in with some smashbox primer Okay guys, so I'm gonna answer a few questions about my locks. Um, what's it like? Ooh. What has my lock experience been like? What's it like having locks so far? So it's only been six months, half a year. Um, and my experience has been great. I'm probably counting my hands how many days I've had out throughout the six months. Um, that I've like been tired of my hair. Not even tired, but just like, what the fuck do I do with my hair? Um, so I could probably count my hands how many times, how many, you know, how many of those days I've had so far. Best advice I can give anybody ooh, wanting to lock their hair is definitely do not listen to what other people have to say. When I tell y'all everybody with locks got a different what you should do what you what you shouldn't do like literally everybody with locks has their own what you should do what you should not do um i met this girl and it was actually the bartender at this restaurant i was eating at and she was like oh my gosh you know i love your locks whatever it locks are a great conversation starter especially if you have starter locks and then you see the other girls with the starter locks and it's like girl you cute as fuck and then that girl you cute as fuck I You'll meet so many people just based off of your uh, having locks. They might have style locks or they might have locks or they might be wanting to lock their hair. Or them just seeing that you're beautiful and you're outside with your natural hair, especially in 2021. Like, it just, you don't even, like, understand how that can inspire many people around. Like, oh my gosh, like, you're so cute and outside with your natural hair and you know what everybody's wearing you know like it's, it's i feel like that's the most fulfilling thing and that was one of the reasons why i locked my hair was so i can feel beautiful and embrace my natural beauty be able to wear my natural hair you know all of those all of the great things another pro 
is all the freaking hairstyles. When I tell y'all, I could do half up, half down, two ponytails. I know I say this in all of my videos, all of my lock updates, but like, that's seriously the best thing. Like, being able to sit in the mirror, like, hmm, how should I wear my hair today? But it's your own hair. Like, when I tell y'all, like, that alone is just touches my heart. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going in with some fancy, some fancy. My skin is, I have oily skin. So I like to wipe off all the excess, like, got to be that might have gotten on my forehead. So it doesn't blend with my foundation. And I'm going to be out here looking crusty. Um, but yeah, so that's another pro about having locks. All the different hairstyles, the conversation starters, being able to feel beautiful, be beautiful. Um, and, you know, encourage other women to embrace their natural selves their you know who they really are when they you know be yourself like you know how sometimes you take your mask off when you get home from work like i feel like my locks are helping me just be who i truly am no matter where i am if i'm outside inside like you know like this is me it's what you're gonna get and period i'm gonna be my best self and yeah so I don't know why my skin is breaking out. Do y'all see that? Like, my skin has been kicking my ass. I was saying before that literally everybody has, everybody with locks or who does locks, locticians, hairstylists, um, everybody literally has an opinion of what you should and should not do with your locks, if you should get locks, um, you know, which way to retwist, you know, literally everybody has what method to use to retwist, like, when I tell y'all, everybody has their own ah uh, ah uh, uh. Everybody has their own ah uh, uh. So I met this bartender. She has locks. She said she was one a year and a half locked. And I was like, oh, you know, nice. She had box braids in her hair. So I was like, you know, I'm six months locked. Um, letting her know that my hair does, it is taking a long time to lock. Um, just because of my texture. And... She was like, asking, she asked me how often I wash my hair. So I told her once, once every three to four weeks. Um, because when I do wash my hair, I will completely lose my retwist. Like, I'm talking about my hair looks just like an afro with twist. Like, curly fro with twist. So, literally, if I wash my hair, I would love to wash my hair every week or every two weeks. But I'm going to have to retwist it. Like, I'm going to have to. Um... So, for that very reason, I wait, I thug it out, and I wait just until my hair does actually start to lock more. Um, so she was like, oh my gosh, she was like, you should, my stylist told me, so she had box braids in, right? Shoni has, I think she said she had 60 locks, so she just box braids her locks. So she's like, yeah, my stylist told me, she's like, for my first year, I just wore box braids. Like, my stylist told me, only wash my hair when I have my box braids in, so she doesn't lose her retwist and her hair can actually, like, lock. And I was like, oh, that makes sense. But also, I'm not doing that. Like... <laughs> I'm literally not doing that. So she's like, no, like, you need to do that. Like, only wash your hair when you have box braids. So I'm like, okay, you have 60-something locks, ma'am. I have, I think, 97, maybe 98 locks. So, <laughs> like, it's just not even feasible. So that was, like, just another just thing where it's, like, everybody got always, everybody always has an opinion about what you should do, but everything doesn't what may work for somebody may not work for you nine times out of ten um and i feel like a lot of things like you know like and i always relate my locks back to my real life journey that i'm going through in life as well as my locks are maturing i'm also maturing um yeah and it's it's just like with life like People may give you advice about your situation. You might seek advice from other people about your situation. Or you might see somebody doing something and you may want to do it. Or, um, I'm a licensed cosmetologist, so I'm in the beauty industry. So, for example, you might see people selling wigs, selling bundles, whatever the case is. They're making a great, great living. Or, you know, they're portraying it as such. So, you want to start selling wigs and stuff. But that may not be what God wants you to do. Like... It may not be for you just because somebody else did it. I remember I did try to make, I know some girls on YouTube, they'll like, in their spray bottle, they'll put water, oil, and then essential oils. 
I did that, I broke out in hives all over my face because I, I always have my bangs, like I always have hair in the front. If I even if I put my hair in a ponytail, I always leave hair in the front. Um, hives all over my freaking face, so <laughs> it was like that. But that was another example of something that works for other people, but that just does not work for me. What works for me, I always spray my ends, and I know everybody like as long as you use conditioner, um, builds up. I, I, I always spray my ends with water, rose water, and conditioner mix. And I only use a little bit of conditioner in my mixture, but my ends are curly, I am gonna keep them curly and yeah, that's what I use to hydrate my hair. I never have build up. Thank you. Knock on wood. Um, so saying that to say, okay, guys, do and find what works best for you because literally everybody is going to have advice. Everybody's going to have, you know, what you should do, what you shouldn't do. I'm about to go in with some MAC um, concealer. This is an NC50. And I go in with my Morphe. This is in... I don't know what color this is. <laughs> I have no idea what color this is, but I'm going with my Morphe. This is about two shades lighter than me. So I'm going with my damn beauty blender. I always do my chin first. The areas where I want the least amount of product, I do first. Do my nose, and then I do my. And then I go in with my with my foundation brush and I just use this to blend in. Make sure there's no harsh lines. And then I go in with a dry beauty blender. Fenty setting powder. This has been my favorite, favorite freaking setting powder like ever. This is in honey. Um my favorite freaking setting powder like oh my gosh oh my gosh like better than what was the other one banana the banana powder this right here mm. that's what she has to do every time she, she's great some morphe bronzer in romance so this is a chocolate color i use this to contour this is my contour brush because it literally just goes where i need it to go and I use powder because my skin is oily, so I don't want to use a lot of cream, and it's quick. It's quick. It does what it has to do. Like, I don't want to do my makeup if it's going to take me all day. Like, this literally goes exactly where I need it to. Put a little bit on there. Little bit. All right, boom. I just use a small brush that I can, like, you know do my art <laughs> so that's what i do for my nose very lightly and then i go in with my setting powder and i just go under where i contour to define my contour i see i can see that so just very lightly All right, boom. That's it, and my makeup is basically done, y'all. Um, Because I'm on here with you guys, let's spice it up a little bit. I'm gonna go in with some, some rosy. Um, I just use a powder brush, and I'm gonna just get a little bit of it. <laughs> Why do I have to smile like that? <laughs> Mm. yeah just a little bit add some color to my face boom so my favorite part because that means i'm almost done 
I go in with some bronzer from MAC. This right here goes to posits. That girl, if you don't got it, this I think you need. I know I said don't listen to people's advice, but this, <laughs> this right here, I definitely think you need this. So I go in with some gold deposit with my brush. And then I go in with some City Bronzer by Maybelline. This one doesn't have glitter, but it is the my complexion of my skin. So I go in. Um, I lightly dust off my powder. This brings back some color to my face. And it's glitter. It sparkles. I leave this powder under my eyes. And I go in with my eyeliner. I always use black eyeliner. This kiss from Beauty Supply Store. I think it's $1.99. Okay, that's what it needs to do. So I go under my eye. Um, Y'all, the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree been in their bag, okay? Because while well, I walked in there, and they had some lashes. They had individual lashes individual lashes in the Dollar Tree that actually look cute. They were like fans, like individual fans that you could put on yourself. And then they had these. Hold on, hold on. Let me let it focus. Do y'all see this? These are cute as And I had to buy two because, period, this is what, a dollar. So we're about to try these. These look like just bro. Bro, you know, do what I gotta do, bro. It's not too heavy. I don't like, I used to like the big lashes like these. I used to love these, okay, but <laughs> I just can't. I just, you know, simplicity is beauty at this point. So, we're about to put these lashes on. And the whole time my setting powder is still under my eye because I have to put my mascara on. And just in case if there's any fallout or anything like that, you know. This is the eyelash glue. That looks like hair glue. I think pretty sure it is hair glue. They just put an eyelash glue logo on it. Let it dry for two seconds. Y'all, let me knock on wood, but when I tell y'all this lash glue never have me outside looking crazy, like, you know, sometimes your lashes will, like, fall off or one side will be lifting up. She never disrespects me like that. But, like, yes, these are great. Like, the length, it's not super long, like... That's exactly what she's supposed to do. Y'all, so I have a question. If somebody tells you you're pretty, right? Or they give you a compliment, do you like just say thank you? Or are you supposed to be like, oh my gosh, you too? Or I like your shirt. Oh my gosh, I love your shirt. Like, is it one of those? Or do you like thank you? Like, you know, I be really struggling with that. I'm like hella awkward. So I don't be knowing what's the right thing to do. And like, if I don't give a compliment back, I be feeling bad. But then sometimes when I do, I be like, girl, you only saying that because they said it. Not that I don't think they're beautiful or I don't like their shirt or their hair, but it's like, is it genuine? Like what I have said that if they didn't say it, I don't know. Or am I thinking too deep about it? Y'all, these lashes are mad cute. Thank you. I don't know if it was, it's cuter because it's a dollar. I really don't. So I have hella little sample size mascaras because I have a makeup subscription. But this is my favorite kind of bristle. Like these plastic bristles. I wish it would like focus. These plastic spike bristles or I guess silicone. Um, so I love to use that for my bottom lashes because... I feel like the soft bristles are like make my lashes like kind of clumpy and it's hella messy. I'm going to let my mascara dry and then we dust off under eye. Then we spray highlighter and we're done. Real quick, bro cute, bro freaking simple. Okay. Okay. So now 
while I let my um, mascara dry, I go pick out my outfit, you know, things like that. So now I'm about to dust it off with the same brush with the leftover bronzer and, you know, the leftover bronzer and gold deposit. I'll just use that. Make sure everything is nice and blended. Then we go in with highlight brush. I still use these. And I love loose highlight, like the glitter mm, does something to me. So I just, you know, you know, um, Like, I'll put this shit all over if I get All right. So, we're done. We're done. We have some setting spray, matte um, makeup spray. This is by Valjean Labs. Um, this has vitamin E oil. And it smells super good. It's lightweight. Does what it needs to do. Helps the makeup blend in. So, now... I have to clean off my nose rings for my makeup. Y'all, what's the best toiletry? For me, the best toiletry, underrated toiletry, are fucking Q-tips. Like, I don't even go on vacation without Q-tips. Like, <laughs> and then get the foundation off of my lips. All right, so I have a brown lip liner. This lip liner is from this brand, Kiku, or Kiko. The only place I've ever seen it is in Kings Plaza Mall in Brooklyn. But my favorite lip liner. Um, I don't know what color lip I'm gonna do. I don't know what hairstyle I'm gonna do. I have to put on my outfit and then, but let's get into it. Y'all see these lashes? They're the perfect length. I'm so happy I found these. I have to go back and buy more before the girls catch on. I was supposed to wear my hair like this, but for some strange reason, when I went outside, the babies wanted to be stubborn. Like, literally, it wouldn't even do this. Like... <laughs> Do me a favor if you clicked on this video if you have locks interested in getting locks on any type of journey i don't care what it is okay hit subscribe like comment and hit subscribe all right i thank you guys so 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 much for watching y'all already know keep being great keep being popping and we're gonna see y'all in the next one I know y'all are probably gonna ask. It's a so thrill. <laughs>